the whole architecture is Googie architecture. I thought Patrick like made up the name. <laughs> I really did. You know, back in the 50s and the 60s, the bowling alleys and the gas station. So he wanted all of his restaurants to have Googie architecture. It goes with the whole image. I love it. I've always loved it. I love everything about P. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you today? Sure. Um, no, I got this. I know what your order is. <laughs> Don't you worry. I need two orders of french fries. Also, we're like with the Kathy Terry. She's like kind of a big deal. <laughs> No. Sorry, what was your oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. Alrighty, She's like, Thank okay, you. there's a crazy lady. <laughs> That's code 24 for crazy lady in the drive-thru. I'm a code 24. <laughs> do we have Thank here? You. Thank you. Um, okay, word on the street is you have a thing for P. Terry fries. Oh no. We call it the two fry. I always have to get one for the car ride and then one for my destination. I love it. And I, I love it. Maybe we should put a combo price up there for that. That would be the biggest <laughs> honor, just like this is. I feel so lucky to be sitting with Kathy Terry at P. Terry's. I know I'm here on a daily basis. How often do you eat here? Oh gosh, I've been here twice already today. Um, <laughs> breakfast and lunch. Okay, that and makes that's pretty normal. Do you eat a lot of fast food or hamburgers before P. Terry's? When we open P. Terry's? No. In fact, um, I thought Patrick was kidding most of the time when he said he was going to open up a burger stand because neither one of us ate fast food. And then all of a sudden he has this location. So and how so did you do that? I literally would drive around and go to like McDonald's and Wendy's, go through the drive thru, and I would look inside to see, like, okay, where <laughs> do they put the fries? Where do they put the straws? Oh, we need lids. Oh, crap. Oh. And I would dissect the burger and be like, okay, the lettuce was on this side, the tomatoes were on that. You were a secret chopper. Yes. And you were learning the nuts and bolts of running a hamburger business. Yes, through the drive thru. Here we are, 15 locations in Austin. I know. How did that growth happen? My husband, he's the visionary for sure. Like mm -hmm. this was his whole idea and I'm probably the operation part. I'm good about getting in the trenches. Like I'm the doer. What were some of those challenges in the beginning? Oh, everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything. I mean, it's hard work. We didn't really know what we were doing. I was going through the drive-thru doing my research. Okay. I'm talking in the little speaker box and I went, oh gosh, we don't have one of those things. And so I called Patrick on the phone and I'm like, hey, dude, we need one of those like speaker box things, you know, with the headset and everybody's talking to each other. Where they actually <laughs> place the yeah. order. And he was like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, what is that called? And he's like, I don't know. It was hysterical. I was the maintenance girl. So if anything broke, I had to fix it. And so I don't know how many times I would get on the roof at P. Terry's and like, change a belt on the exhaust oh fan. It was crazy. And I would even do it pregnant. We opened our first location was on South Lamar and Barton Springs. And in fact, when we opened, Patrick didn't want to put any other burger on the menu other than a hamburger. And I was like, no, you can't do that. You have to have chicken. You have to have fries. Well, yeah, well, it was going to be fries. Okay. <laughs> it was going to be fries. Okay, good. You have to have chicken. And he was like, oh, God, we can't do chicken. It's going to take too long to cook. The chicken breasts are too thick. And so we went round and round and round. And actually, we were with some friends out to eat. And um, we were telling him this whole story. And Patrick's friend looked at him and said, well, just grind it, Patrick. <laughs> and Patrick's like, yeah, we'll just grind it. So that's how we got our chicken burgers. And then when I realized that we were opening in South Austin, I was like, well, we have to have a vegetarian option. We had already painted the menu signs. I mean, everything was done. Wow. And at the very last minute, I was like, even if it's a frozen veggie patty, you have to let me buy it and put it on the menu. So we had like another little menu painted. And it said South Austin edition. It's hanging in my, in my carport. Are you it serious? It says South Austin edition. The veggie burger. Even just the aroma of P. Terry's makes me happy. <laughs> I wish I could bottle this up and put it in a room spray. I'm sure my kids would probably disagree with you. They are so sick of P. Terry's. I keep telling them, okay, one day you're going to look back and think I'm the coolest mom ever. But I let you have a burger every day. Every day. Something so special about P. Terry's is this culture of giving. We decided, okay, we're going to do like a day of giving and we're going to do it four times a year. Mm -hmm. And Patrick was insistent on doing it on Saturdays because he's like, it's going to be the biggest day of the week and we'll give all of our profits to a nonprofit. Over the years, it's been so exciting and it's the four checks that we write a year that mean the most to me. Mm -hmm. It would be impossible without our customers. I mean, so it's like everybody gets to be a part of that whole giving journey. We've given over $750,000 out. It's really turned into be a beautiful thing. One time I had the good fortune of hearing you speak at an event. You said something to the effect of, you know, they say money can't buy you happiness. And you said, but it can if you're spending it on other people. It's true. Everybody has struggles. Yeah. And it only takes one person's kindness to change a life. 
And okay. so I always want to give back. And it's so neat that you can incorporate that into every facet of your life now, which led you to start in lieu. Yes, it's a mobile giving app. It's a social app. And it actually is kind of the same premise of P. Terry's. Like everybody gets to be involved in the giving journey. I wanted people to make donations in lieu of material gifts. In the app, you can actually make a donation to nonprofit and at the same time, make a personal message to your friend. And you can connect it to a cause that means something to them. When you launch Taco Ranch, yes, I mean that's a big deal. That about killed us both. Why is that? Oh my gosh, it's like childbirth. You forget how hard it is. Oh, that's right. So then we opened that Taco Ranch, and it's a totally different concept. So it's, we started all over. Like we had no idea, like how many beans are we supposed to make? How many tortillas? We were so overwhelmed. And I mean, thank you, Austin, for being so nice. Just when you have burgers mastered, you're like plot twist. Let's go try yeah. something new. It's so funny when we opened Terry's, I looked at them and I'm like, if you wanted a divorce, you just had to ask for it. <laughs> And the same thing, like Taco Ranch opens, and I'm like, you did it again. Like, how is that possible? How did I let you do this? You almost be doing something right because it's working. What's the craziest order you've ever seen? I think the ones that really kind of stop me in my tracks are they'll do like the trifecta. They'll do beef, chicken, and veggie all together. A triple tower? Yes. I didn't even know that existed. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I have nothing to worry about. This has been such a delight. All cheers to you. Oh, cheers. I know you're sneaking a shake in this big cup. <laughs> yeah. I know what she did. Exactly. <laughs>